is the Lord of Precious Saints. This night, I would like to pray and also talk about being delivered from the spirits of serpents. Now, there are a few different spirits of serpents that we know that there is a spirit of cobra, there's a spirit of a bowl restrictor, there's a spirit of a rattlesnake, and there's also a spirit of python. So I want to focus on them tonight, but let's have a look at this first. What does What are these powers? Well, the Bible says in Revelation 12, 9, we see that God reveals it as the serpent is the devil, that serpent of old that it's spoken about. And also according to Luke 10, 19, serpents are satanic powers. It says you'll have power over serpents and scorpions. Therefore, that represents satanic powers. So the serpent is also a deceiver because according to Genesis 3, 1 to 14, we see that it came to deceive Eve in the garden, deceives through evil wisdom and subtlety. So the serpent launches attacks against people. According to Leviticus 21, verses 4 to 9, we see the story of the Israelites who had rebelled against God. Therefore, the serpent came and started to bite the people. So it, it comes to launch attacks against people. We see also in Luke 4, Verses 2 to 13, we see that the serpent, which is Satan, has gone out to what? To deceive Jesus. He tried to get Jesus to to, to worship him and, and to deny his own father. So you encounter serpents in the wilderness of your life, according to Deuteronomy 8, 15. So they are used by satanic powers and personalities to attack people. Now, according to Luke 10, verse 20, it says God has given us power over all the power of the enemy, no matter how fierce they may look or how fierce they're coming against your life. The authority and the name of Jesus is above everything that is named in this world and the world to come. That includes all serpents. So in that name, Jesus, God has given us the name above all names to come against these spirits. Hallelujah. So who are serpentine spirits or what are their powers? Well, we can see that they have, you know, they're, they're, they, they relate to sorcerers and witch doctors, enchanters, diviners, occultists, psychics, magicians, satanic agents, marine powers, witchcraft powers, ancestral powers, unfriendly people, unbelievers, evil authority figures such as marine and serpent powered churches also so the characteristics of serpents serpents are very clever according to matthew 10 16 they are very subtle and deceptive they are full of pretense and deceit love it when they when you are down and hate it when you prosper they are very manipulative dominating and controlling they hide in dark places to operate operate in the dark area of a person's life they hide where the light of god's word is absent in a person's life they love isolating places and often hide among abandoned things so they find that lone ranger christians easy prey they love where there is bitterness unforgiveness and secret sin so serpents monitor their victims before they attack they lay in wait and then attack the victim suddenly serpents squeeze life out of the victims serpents swallow up various areas of the victim's life or swallow them up completely so how do these things operate well They carry out the agenda of the devil, which is to kill, steal, and destroy, according to John 10.10. They attack people physically. They attack people in their dreams. They inject poison into the victims through bites by spitting on them. They induce terrible sickness and afflictions through eating, drinking, and sex also in dreams. They lay eggs from 
uh, from you know the form of evil deposits and plantations and create problems. They inhabit the body and move about the body, polluting the blood and biting the victims. Serpents swallow up good things in the life of victims. Serpents also swallow up their victims, both their destiny and their physical destiny also. So what do they do? They come against and they deceive. And where do they locate? They tend to locate around the spinal area, in the stomach area. They they, they, they seem to operate in that particular domain and they will come and choke the people. They will come and have their way. So let's look at the different ones now. So when we look first, the cobra-like spirit strikes with its tongue and is responsible responsible for mesmerization, seduction, terror, ego entanglement, manipulation, mind control, destiny altering activity, black magic, white magic, divination, demonology, new age, um, you know, hexes, sorcery, uh, enhancements, dream uh, penetration, deception and broken focus. You can pray like this let when we pray we say let the sword of the spirit destroy the head of the cobra like spirit responsible for whatever that problem is in the name of jesus christ now when we look at the boa constricting like forces or serpents they come to strangle suffocate stagnate stifle and crush so you can obviously also pray something like this i sever the head of the boa like spirit and command my release now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, moving on to the rattlesnake. The rattlesnake-like spirit causes venomous contamination, malicious gossips. This spirit causes toxic and non-toxic relationships, pain and discomfort, confusion, hemorrhaging of joy, peace, finances, natural and spiritual resources. So you can pray like this in this case. You say, blood of Jesus, wash me now and flush out every venomous or poisonous deposits left by the enemy, by any rattlesnake-like spirit. Let their tongue cling to the roof of their mouth, then pray about those specific issues etc gossip whatever it is so the last one we're going to talk about number four is the python like spirit which creates false burdens overwhelms and swallows up blessings you can pray like this in this case i command my blessings to be spit out coughed up and released from any python spirit responsible for my lack or holding up my blessings in jesus mighty name so there are more of these to consider but these are just the major major culprits that we should just come against hallelujah so we must understand also we must understand that we must destroy the serpent's eggs. So we might say a prayer like this. I destroy the serpent's eggs, the nesting, the, the pestering, the incubating. There before they hatch in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy the viper-like spirit by the blood of Jesus. And I seal it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we must be, you know, very, very serious about these prayers because, you know, these spirits, they will not muck around with us in actual fact they will not muck around with us at all so let us now see how we can come against them so first i just want you to surrender your life to christ if you haven't done that already give your heart just repent you know deal with any fear or unbelief that you might be feeling right now according to 1 timothy 1 7 1 7 get filled with the holy spirit the spirits cannot stand the fire. So it's important to stay full of the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, other spirits will come into you. Exercise your spiritual follow authority. According to Luke 10, 19, Mark 16, 18, we're being given all authority over serpents and scorpions, over evil spirits, over demonic spirits. Use your spiritual weapons. You know, Christ, Jesus, and his blood, and the only antidote for every serpent bite and poison is the blood of Jesus Christ. So we see with Numbers 21, 8 to 9, we see that when Jesus is lifted up, then whoever looks to him shall also be saved. So, so I encourage you today as we start these prayers, we're going to start now and we're going to start to get serious into these prayers right now.
Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray you will surround that room with your angels to outnumber, to outmatch and to outclass right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here right now as they surround that room, as you fill it with your presence right now in the name of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, we pray through the blood that you will buy them back from every serpent by which they have been sold in Jesus' name. Every serpent that has swallowed them, vomit them now and die in the name of Jesus Christ, you foul spirit. Every ancestral debt collector, forcing them to pay for what they did not buy, that that contract will now be destroyed in Jesus mighty name every serpent in their foundation swallowing their destiny it will die now in the name of Jesus Christ every serpent in their blood die in the name of Jesus Christ every serpent caging their destiny die in the name of Jesus Christ we neutralize every serpentine defilement pollution contamination with the blood of Jesus Christ let the Holy Spirit arrest every serpent of darkness assigned against them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, destroy the power behind any serpent troubling their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil serpent monitoring their life, stretch and die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every flying dream serpent, go to the hot desert and stretch out and die in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Any man or woman turning into a serpent to frustrate God's will, plan and purpose for their lives, it will die now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unholy or ungodly conscious or unconscious covenant and soul tie with serpentine powers and the snake Lord break and die now in the name of Jesus Christ. We pull down every ancestral serpent altar coming against their lives right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, thunder of God, locate and pull down every ancestral altars of snake lord and serpentine spirits working against their lives in Jesus name. We build a new altar, Lord, today, the altar of Jehovah for their family using the blood of Jesus Christ. The use of the sword of the Holy Ghost to cut off their branches from any serpentine trees in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus neutralize every dream pollution and poison in their bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Holy Ghost fire, sanitize their spirit and soul and body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Ancestral spirits in their body. Lord, it must be uprooted now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We command you right now. Lord, bruise the head of every serpent that would attack their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Punish the piercing servant in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we bind and rebuke any serpent that would try to deceive them in the name of Jesus, according to 2 Corinthians 11, 3. Lord, we release the rod of God to swallow up every serpent that would come against them in the name of Jesus Christ, according to Exodus 7, 12. Protect me from every fiery serpents, according to Deuteronomy 8, 15. We bind and rebuke every serpent that would try to waste or coil around their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke every python that would try to squeeze out their prayer life in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke every cobra that would come against them in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke every bow stricter that would come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind and rebuke every flying serpent that would attack their lives in the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 27 verse 1. We bind and rebuke every serpent and sea serpent that would attack their lives in the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 27 1. We 
also have authority to tread upon serpents, according to Luke 10, 19. And will we believe and pick up serpents right now, according to Mark 16, 18? Let the fire of God drive out every serpent from our lives, according to Acts 28, 3. We cast out every viper that would operate in their lives in the name of Jesus. And just as Paul was bitten on the hand by the viper, he shook it off and it had no effect in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Serpent poison or venom in their body, you will come out now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every incubation of the serpent's eggs in their body catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream serpents die in the name of Jesus. It's serpents from the waters assigned against their life die in the name of Jesus. Every secret covenant with any serpent power break in the name of Jesus Christ. Environmental serpents scatter in the name of Jesus. Every dream animal assigned against their destiny, you will die in the name of Jesus. Serpents of infirmity die in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let our stubborn pursuers scatter in the name of Jesus. Serpent power of their place of birth, you will die in the name of Jesus. Inherited serpent, die in the name of Jesus. Power to kill serpents and scorpions, come up on their lives in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, just as you said to crush upon the serpent's head right now through the power and the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, we crush the power of the serpent right now with the heel right now in the name of Jesus Christ. For Satan, you live under our feet. Lord, I pray right now, every demon shall be cast out right now. Every demon will stand to the attention and be cast out right now. Now, uh, we grab you and locate you around the spine, around the neck, around the area of the head, around the area of the stomach. Those that have gone down to the foot, you will also come out. We locate you right now. You will come out of the mouth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will come out now. We command you. You will leave now. You are under the subjection and the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. For all power has been given unto us. You will come out of their lives and leave them now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, every one of them, go, 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 go in the name of Jesus. Leave now, come out now, leave now, come out now. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power in the name of Jesus. You will come out now and leave their lives in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will fill them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Holy Spirit, arrest every spirit and cast them out now through the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray pray right now through the power of the authority that is here. Fill them and baptize them with your spirit and your power as you fill them and touch them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom.